right, today I'm going to talk about um, the remote for iTunes, Tune Remote, and Gmote. All of these are available for um, Android phones. Specifically, I have here the, um, the Evo 4G from Sprint. Um, the Gmote and the, uh, and the Tunes Remote is um, free to download on the Android market. The remote for iTunes is uh, about five bucks to, to download the application. So I'm going to first show you how the, um, the remote for iTunes work. As you can see, it connects to my library pretty fast. You know, hit play. It plays there very quickly. Next song. And whatnot. Now, if I want to browse for another song, I hit the center button there. And you can browse it in two different ways. You know, artists and albums. The one thing I don't like about this is when you go under albums, it displays every song within the album. There's no like category for that one album. So I mean that to me, I, I don't know why they did that, but they did. So you know, play that song there, and it plays very quickly there. As you can see, it has the album art, the name of the song, the artist, album, whatever. The one thing that this doesn't have is the uh, volume control unlike the iPhone and the iTouches which they do come with it um, but other than that it's not bad you know, it's very quick to um, to go through songs so that's that the second one the second app I'm going to show you is called the tunes remote this is the free one available at the Android market and again, it's very fast to connect. Uh, it, it's basically the same layout. You have the album art, name of the song, you know, artist, and the album it's in. You know, it's the same thing. You know, play, pause, next song, seek, and whatnot. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is when you're browsing for a song, the only option you really have is um, artists. You know, so you click an artist, um, the song, and whatnot, and you play. And that's, that's playing there. Again, there's no, um, there's no volume control on this either. But for it being a free app, it's, it, it does a good job on it. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is the G mode. Uh, this is a free app available at the Android market as well. Um, it's it, it's does, it does the same thing with the iTunes remote does only it doesn't control iTunes it controls whatever media you have on your computer so for instance I go to my C drive and then I go to my music and whatnot and, and play whatever is on there and you can see it it, it responds pretty quickly you know, next song and uh, what I do like about this it does have your volume control you know, mute, unmute, and if you click it once, twice, it kind of fast forwards it, and if you hold it down, it goes to the next song, and you can see that it tells you the name of the song, what's playing as well, um, pause there, now the one neat feature about this, up here, you go to uh, phone beta, and basically you, um, you can stream whatever media you have on your computer to your phone. So, and that's playing on my, uh, on my Evo there. It's it it can be a little laggy sometimes, but uh, again, it's a pretty cool feature that this has. You can see it's buffering for the next song so it's not as fast. But again it's in beta version so and that's that.